Imagine a world cloaked in the sepia hues of nostalgia, where cinema screens flicker to life with tales that echo through time. In the midst of this celluloid reverie stands the list of Adrian Messenger, a hidden gem from the tapestry of 1963. Let your mind wander back to that moment when you first encountered the enigmatic storyline, a moment that perhaps found you ensnared in its suspense, hanging on the cusp of revelations that dance just beyond your grasp. As the reel unspooled, did you find yourself immersed in the intricate web of mystery woven by the film? Did you catch your breath as the characters' fates intertwined in unexpected ways? Think back to those indelible scenes that etched themselves into your memory, perhaps a spine-tingling chase through the moors or a whispered exchange laden with hidden meanings. Now, as we journey beyond the screen, let's delve into the tapestry of facts that enrich this cinematic creation. Discover the untold stories that swirled behind the scenes, anecdotes that cast the film's allure in a new light. Uncover the actors' off-camera camaraderie, and the director's visionary choices that birthed this timeless narrative. So, with curiosity as our guide, let's unearth the riveting trivia that paints the list of Adrian Messenger in hues brighter than the silver screen. Join me in this odyssey of knowledge, where facts blend with fascination to unveil the secrets that have long been hidden in the celluloid shadows. And now, dear reader, let the adventure commence, one that bridges the gap between real and reality, past and present. Let's journey together, for in the heart of this exploration lies the magic of a movie that continues to captivate across the ages. The 1963 film The List of Adrian Messenger, directed by John Huston, weaves a gripping tale of mystery and suspense that captivated audiences during its time. Originating from a novel by Philip MacDonald, the movie follows a retired British intelligence officer, George Bruffin, as he investigates a series of bizarre deaths seemingly linked to a mysterious list of names. With a stellar cast including George C. Scott, Kirk Douglas, and Tony Curtis, the film boasts an ensemble of iconic characters brought to life by these talented actors. The movie stands out for its unique narrative approach, employing a disguise technique where several well-known actors play multiple characters in unrecognizable makeup. This stylistic choice adds a layer of intrigue, allowing audiences to engage in a guessing game as they attempt to identify the famous faces beneath the elaborate disguises. The list of Adrian Messenger left an indelible mark on popular culture by pushing the boundaries of storytelling and suspense. Its inventive use of disguises became a reference point in film history, inspiring subsequent works that toyed with the concept of hidden identities and deception. The film's impact can be felt in later movies and television shows that drew inspiration from its innovative approach. Overall, the list of Adrian Messenger remains a timeless piece of cinema that continues to influence and intrigue audiences, solidifying its place in cinematic history. Mystery Unveiled, the enigmatic 1963 film The List of Adrian Messenger and the Annals of Cinematic Enigmas, The List of Adrian Messenger, a 1963 classic, holds a prominent place. An intricately woven mystery, the film boasts an array of star cameos, further adding to its allure. However, the most captivating tale lies behind the scenes, revealing the fascinating genesis of this production. Penned by Philip MacDonald, the film's roots trace back to a series of detective novels from the 1930s centered around the character Anthony Gethrin, portrayed by the illustrious George C. Scott. Remarkably, the source novel for the film was published as late as 1959, marking a resurgence of Gethrin's tales after a hiatus of two decades. A testament to MacDonald's prowess, the film's narrative emerges from the shadows of history, bringing Gethrin to life once again on the silver screen. Delving deeper into its production, one unearths an unexpected connection to acclaimed director John Huston. Part of the film's intrigue was crafted on Huston's personal estate in the verdant landscapes of Ireland. This infusion of real-life mystique resonated with the film's storyline, blurring the boundaries between fiction and reality in a manner befitting a true cinematic masterpiece. Adding an additional layer to the mystery is actor Jan Merlin's account. Merlin, a vital presence in the film, divulged his involvement in the guise of the star cameos. Among these luminaries, Kirk Douglas stands out, shrouded in skillful makeup artistry. Yet, Merlin revealed that Tony Curtis, Frank Sinatra, and Burt Lancaster, despite their apparent roles, solely contributed to close-up shots for an epilogue, peeling off their intricate disguises. Merlin's own experiences culminated in a literary endeavor, a thinly-veiled novel titled Shooting Montezuma, offering a tantalizing glimpse into the enigma-filled world behind the camera. As we traverse the intriguing corridors of the list of Adrian Messenger, we find ourselves drawn into a realm where fiction and reality intertwine, where star-studded cameos only scratch the surface of the secrets concealed within. The film's allure lies not just in its narrative, but in the tapestry of stories that culminate to create a truly unforgettable cinematic experience. The List of Adrian Messenger, a film that beckons us to uncover its layers, to step beyond the frame and explore the enigma that defines it. 
In the 1963 cinematic mystery The List of Adrian Messenger, a hidden twist unfolds beneath the surface, echoing the enigmatic nature of its plot. Amidst the intricate web of characters, one intriguing tidbit surfaces, the cunningly crafted cameo of Frank Sinatra. Unveiled only at the film's climactic unmasking scene, Sinatra's fleeting appearance carries an unexpected secret. According to certain accounts, this cameo was not the work of the iconic crooner himself, but rather that of Dave Willock, an actor bearing a striking facial resemblance. Sinatra's involvement was relegated solely to the moment when he peels off his disguise, a revelation that adds an air of mystique to his presence. Yet, Sinatra's shadow isn't the only layer of intrigue woven into this cinematic tapestry. Enter Jacques Roux, whose exchanges with George C. Scott were not entirely as they seemed. Paul Fries, a versatile voice artist, lent his vocal finesse to the film's soundscapes. Dubbing Rue's dialogues, Freeze meticulously matched words, sometimes even isolating a lone word or phrase for precision. In a masterstroke, Freeze also contributed a phrase to Herbert Marshall. A behind-the-scenes virtuoso, Freeze's most recognizable voice resonated as Boris Badnov in The Bullwinkle Show, with his involvement as Josephine's voice in Some Like It Hot standing as his best-kept secret. Amidst this cinematic intrigue, the multifaceted John Huston makes his own distinctive mark. An ardent writer and hunter, Huston's cameo as Lord Ashton transpires within a short yet resonant dialogue seen during the final hunt. Here, his real-life passions intermingle with his on-screen persona, a nuanced touch that enriches the film's texture. As the credits roll on the list of Adrian Messenger, it's clear that the film's mystique extends beyond its plot. Sinatra's hidden cameo, Free's meticulous dubbing, and Huston's cameo merge to form an intricate mosaic. The convergence of Hollywood's finest, both in front of and behind the camera, elevates this 1963 production into a truly enigmatic cinematic gem. The List of Adrian Messenger, unveiling intriguing connections through the ages in the annals of classic cinema. 1,963 seconds The List of Adrian Messenger remains a treasure trove of cinematic secrets and connections that continue to captivate audiences to this day. Crafted with suspense and artistry by director John Huston, the film weaves a web of mystery and disguise that is as intricate as it is engaging. One fascinating facet of the movie's production involves the legendary Elizabeth Taylor. A hidden gem among the movie's secrets is the fact that Taylor was offered a discreet cameo appearance, playing the role of a grizzled sailor named Chesty. Yet, the Hollywood icon declined the role, not due to the script's allure, but because she realized the intense and painful makeup required for the character. This nugget of behind-the-scenes insight offers a glimpse into the challenges faced by actors, even those as esteemed as Taylor, when venturing beyond their usual glamorous appearances. However, it's the musical motif associated with Kirk Douglas' character that echoes through time in a manner that's equally intriguing. This motif, recurring throughout the film, would find a surprising afterlife. Several years later, the essence of this musical theme, with only minor variations, resurfaced in two episodes of Hawaii 5 Minutes Zero. Notably, in these episodes, the multi-talented Hume Cronin portrayed a cunning thief reliant on elaborate disguises. This musical connection highlights the subtle threads that interweave seemingly distinct narratives across the vast expanse of cinema history. But it's not just the artistic elements that contribute to the enigma of the list of Adrian Messenger. The film's production itself is steeped in history, as it was partially filmed on director John Huston's very own estate in Ireland. This personal touch from the director adds a layer of intimacy and connection, as the lush Irish landscapes and the director's private haven become an integral backdrop to the unfolding drama. In the grand tapestry of cinematic lore, the list of Adrian Messenger stands as a testament to the enduring allure of intrigue and disguise. From Elizabeth Taylor's declined cameo to the musical motif's reprise and the verdant Irish settings, each facet adds a layer of richness to this enigmatic masterpiece. Unraveling the threads that bind these elements together only deepens our appreciation for the film's timeless appeal. As audiences continue to revisit and revere this classic, they are reminded that within the frame lies a world of secrets waiting to be discovered anew. As we draw the curtain on our journey through the enigmatic realms of the list of Adrian Messenger, I hope these words have been your companion, much like the flickering light of a classic cinema screen. This 1963 masterpiece is not merely a movie, it's a tapestry woven with threads of suspense, mystery, and nostalgia, carefully sewn together to leave an indelible mark on our souls. Perhaps as you've delved into the labyrinthine plot and followed the twists and turns, you've found yourself entwined with the characters' fates, a mere observer no more. The echoes of this tale might resonate differently for each of us, akin to the subtle rustling of leaves in a forest, each one of us carrying a unique connection to the celluloid frames that have now etched themselves into our minds. Did the chilling suspense seize your breath as you traverse the winding path of secrets? Did you decode the enigma before the final reel spun? Or did the haunting landscapes evoke a sense of wanderlust and reflection, leading you to delve into your own mysteries? In this ever-evolving world, the list of Adrian Messenger stands as a timeless reminder of the power of storytelling, a portal to an era where narratives were spun with meticulous craftsmanship. 
As you bid adieu to this narrative treasure trove, I invite you to share your thoughts, to pen down your memories, and to let your connection with this cinematic marvel reverberate across time. So, my fellow voyagers through celluloid dreams, thank you for embarking on this expedition, for unraveling the enigma alongside me. Your engagement is the pulse that keeps these stories alive, your memories a testament to the magic of cinema that knows no bounds. Until our narratives intertwine once more, keep the reel of your passion spinning and the tapestry of your memories vivid. And as you walk away, remember that every tale has countless dimensions, and the stories we share become the constellation of our collective experiences. With gratitude for your time and your captivating connection to the list of Adrian Messenger, 